Do you want more photography clients and better sessions? Of course you do. Who doesn't want a thriving photography business? Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because in this video, I am walking you through the top things that I do when starting to write blogs. If you're like, uh, how on earth are blogs going to help me in my photography business? I'm here to tell you that as a seasoned family photographer been in business for over a decade, blogging has been one of my top ways to help attract dream clients, help them have amazing sessions and just grow a thriving business. So let's dive in. Hi, I am Nasa Lee and I have been running a thriving photography business for the past 13 years, all while raising a family. I have six kids, so I don't have time to waste on things that don't work for my business. So since I don't have time, that's why I'm filming this in my car because it is quiet. But let's dive into my top three things I do when I'm starting to blog. The very first thing that I do when writing my blogs is actually brainstorm topics. What on earth I'm going to write about? I don't want to sit down to write something and have no ideas. So I brainstorm ideas. This could be thinking through frequently asked questions I get from clients or from people who are inquiring. What are they asking me? How can I help them? answer their questions before they even ask them. I also think through issues, some kind of sticky spot in a past session where I could have helped my client have an even better experience by you know, preparing them one way or another. Another idea for brainstorming topics is how can I help them prepare to have an amazing session? And you might think through session sessions that went really well. What did those, those families do? How did they prepare? Um, what are you telling clients over and over? How can you write that into a blog post to help more people? The second thing I do, and this one's really big, so listen up and don't skip this one. It's keyword research. So you may have a topic in mind and you know what you want to write about, but make sure that that keyword is something that you are searching or keyword phrase that is something that people are searching. If no one's searching for it, they're not going to find it. Now I could do a whole nother post on, yes, some posts aren't necessarily meant for people to find them, but if you're just starting in your blogging journey, you're likely going to need to, to start with a bunch of blogs that are going to help your SEO. So again, do your keyword research and leave me an, uh, a message in the comments. Leave a comment if you would love to see how I use keyword research, how I actually do it, and I can kind of walk you through the process in another video. The final thing that I do is I outline my blog with bullet points. Now I have, I will put the link in the description, a template that I created to help you outline it uh, and walks you through these steps. So grab that free template in the comments. But I outline my blog so that I know what I want to write. So when I sit down at my computer, again, I have six kids. I don't have a lot of time. When I am, have some scheduled work time and I'm writing, if I have an outline, I can type up that blog so quickly. So I outline it. That way I make sure I'm staying on topic. I am getting the right information and I have an idea of where I want to go. Now I'm ready to sit down and write my blog post. That's it. Those three things, they may seem like busy work, but I promise they make the blogging process faster and make sure that it's effective for your business, which is what you want, right? For my full blogging process, where I walk you through start to finish in a step-by-step -step module, grab my master blogging course. I will also put that link in the description for you. I want to end with one final note. You might be thinking, well, ChatGPT can write my blogs. That is correct. ChatGPT is an awesome resource. However, you need to know how to write good blogs and how to have, you need to have some good blogs written for ChatGPT to be able to help. You don't want your blog to sound like a bot. It's so important to use ChatGPT in a way that makes people want to work with you. That is, that is super effective. So again, I do use ChatGPT in blogging for my business, but I have written a lot of really great blogs that can be used in ChatGPT to create more blogs for my business. With that, I will leave you. If you enjoyed this quick video to help you get blogging, make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel for more business tips to help you get run that business of your dreams.